Hello, hello. Okay, so I know we just started our Slytherin yesterday, but I really want to be bad today. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go start our bad. And I already know how I want to make it. Yep. All of our characters are gonna be girls. Just girls. I'm a girl. <laughs> it's easier for me to say that way, but. I already got like this badass thing with the hole, like this person here. Oh, what is this? <coughs> oh, my voice was super loud. I think that's the closest to Harry Harry Potter that is the closest to what I have. I do want this one to be bad. I don't want it on this side. Why is it all on the right side? I don't know why. Cobwebs and some dust. I am indeed a student, but I that was quite something. <coughs> this is going to be our hopper. We are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me with the tongue. I've also been doing grinding on our Ravenclaw, so if you get that last one. Oh, she's pretty close to level 34, so you should get to it. George! I'm glad my rather cryptic description Wait, of our location did not thwart your findings. Yeah. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some pettigoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak on route to Hogwarts? We had a starter term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. I'll see you. Ages since I'd been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. This is my breakfast stuff, Benjamin.
new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, <laughs> the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen the museum? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the ministry, I believe he ow, is ow, ow, a ow. significant threat. Ow. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. I have so much like... fun being evil. Merlin's beard. Uh, how did you wait? We do not know. I love how quick the transition is for us to be able to see the Thestials. Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. Okay. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I'm gonna get Amazon or something. My hands are off when I when they're cold. It's usually when I'm on the computer and I can't hold anything. <coughs>
father from London and the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. You the port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Oh, excuse me. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Did the jumps are so pathetic. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Rougher than I'd expected. That water looks too much. Ah, up there. Grab this chest over here. <coughs> We're close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself! With our Ravenclaw playthrough, we didn't use Reparo hardly at all. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home!
enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Someone have conjured that enchanted stone here. And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see any. Ring dots. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Sorry, I'm going to do something. Just a moment. <laughs> Just a moment. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, <coughs> I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. After you. Your body's gonna die. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many vaults are there in Gringotts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? Oh no! They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantment. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault as deep as a chick. Commission shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Tell him. The glow you saw on the porky container? No, the darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin, bless her. So he watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. 
Sorry, I'm multitasking right now, guys. I don't know why, but I like holding the microphone. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Suppose we should be looking for, <coughs> sir. I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Bye bye. Wait. Best of luck, <sighs> Professor. That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. What is that red behind it? That's definitely new. I don't, or I've never noticed it before. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end I can't I needed a new lunchbox, so I was Stay looking for close. one on Amazon that would work no as a lunchbox and so breakfast box. Because I out of uh, I eat breakfast at work, so having to have two different lunchboxes, one for my breakfast food and one for my lunch, it got old. Look, I see something up ahead. What is it? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Glow again, but on the floor. Let's get into the fight scene. Lumos. Why does it knock me on my ass? That's what I want. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem oh, to have takes forever. the floor to change. Yep, let's go. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Yes, sir. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should pass Lumos. What is the red behind it? That's so narrow. Is this because it's my third playthrough? Lumos, well done. Wait, I don't remember picking my difficulty. It does follow the light. I might have chosen hard.
That's the only thing I can think of. Which will not be good for me because we know I'm bad at playing games. Okay, it's on normal. Okay, so the last... I'm gonna put it on easy. I'm gonna put it on easy. Because we know I'm bad. But we handled story pretty well. And if we get through easy pretty well, because story mode, we didn't die at all except for when I purposely killed us to test a theory. Um, this is really loud right now. I can't hear myself think. Is it super loud for you guys, too? Um. Uh. If we handle easy okay, I'll change our Slytherin's uh, difficulty to normal. And then if normal's good, our Gryffindor will go on hard. That is how we'll do that. Stay close. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos, where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Lumos! Rebellio. Lumos. Ah, that's where they're leading. Yeah, that glow again. I feel like I'm running a lot smoother. I hope the audio is okayly balanced. Rebellio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Seems I have no <coughs> I'm have to fight my way out of here. Hit me. So far, easy's been okay. Always prompts you with Protego, though, so you don't really have to worry about it. I hit it too soon. It's a good red. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio.
Do you have curse words in your YouTube titles when you open those? Let me see. Where are my nails? There you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. in place the port key is well hidden perhaps too well i wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as i can your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough percival we are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets we oh and you're gonna regret it too with day oh she's gonna fuck yes, shit up we are correct charles the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it we've done all that we can that's what you're seeing the glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. <coughs> it looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. I don't think so. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I, Can I join the problems? The instructions to Vault 12 were quite it. clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
join the goblins. I just googled to see if we could join the goblin rebellion and it shall be no. Those who set up the pensieve, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Let's go. I wonder if it's going to ask me the same question. I've seen clips of other people getting sorted and, like, freaking out. And they get different questions than we do, so I'm hoping we get a different question now. As ours is always, what are you most excited for? Exploring or classes? With our Ravenclaw, we did classes. With our Slytherin, we did exploring. And it gave us Ravenclaw for both matches. And I'm pretty sure it's because I linked my Potter book. But I feel like if the game senses you have multiple playthroughs, it should like give you a variety of questions and not automatically always sort you into your Pottermore class. Uh, how? Because why would you want multiple playthroughs with the same house especially if you're going for the achievement to go into all the common rooms which you can only do by having multiple playgrounds because you can't get resorted later and if you're in one house you can't go into the other i really like this game my brother was asking me about my opinions on it last night and i was like honestly as much as I love the Elder Scroll games and I played the shit out of Skyrim, I like this better than Skyrim. I also haven't really looked at the mods for this game yet. Uh, I'm gonna wait oh, until good. we do our Gryffindor. We haven't class. missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. Okay, this character is not to going to tell to Weasley, Randlock. Matilda. For the moment, I ask that you keep all the time. <coughs> the Slytherin and my and me. Of course, Ravenclaw, or my I'm Hufflepuff, my Ravenclaw didn't tell her. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Uh, my Ravenclaw, because she thought it was a good thing to do. My Hufflepuff, because I now know that that's not that the good thing to do. My Gryffindor and my Slytherin will be told. My Slytherin already told her because they're good friends. Um, and my Gryffindor because they're good friends because of the house that they had in the house that they're going to have church services. Phineas, my jealous Hogwarts. black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were. Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Oh, them boils. If you're lucky, we might Why does it look like get you my robes are black and evening. purple right now? There's no purple house. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Let's get me black and yellow. Let's go. The Griffin or the Slytherin table runner is the most prominent when you're looking at the four tables there. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. That's gotta be the sort of ending to have a fat place ah, in your head and then it wiggles yes. about. It's a bit older than the others. And then starts aren't talking. You? you come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Yeah, that's all the same thing. Can't wait to explore I'm looking Martin forward to Martin. exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. 
Indeed. Much the microphone will say studies by having an adventurous spirit, yes. But your professors have a great <coughs> deal to teach you as well. Mm. You're clever indeed. Oh, and I did find out yesterday while I was grinding levels in my room clock, I could have attended other classes, because that's the point others. that I'm at. I was able to and attend history for mind. magic. It was a Quick side quest. Learn. And I didn't get anything out of it Perhaps except for experience. But Ravenclaw. if I can go around and find the classrooms, I can attend those classes, even if it's on a quest. Yeah, it gave me a tingling. And your loyalty to a friend what? delayed your arrival here this evening. Yes. I think Teddy's feeling better. We woke up no, better be this morning. Hufflepuff! Um, and he's acting like his normal, uh, only child self. Only child self. Yellow's not very vibrant. My other Gryffindor was cheering. Y'all need to calm down. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been <coughs> cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Huh? But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. So I'm sure you will have plenty to do the before classes are gonna meet. begin tomorrow. We only know of one, which is Poppy Sweeting. I said... I'm sure you all have plenty Wait. to do before class. Wait, Moth Girl, tomorrow. the one that shows you how to do the Lumos into the thing that gives you that quest, she is a Hufflepuff. What's her name? Throw to Quite R, a right? Like, it's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. It wasn't Romilda, Would you be so kind it? as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. I know it's Rotten Moth. So we know of two Hufflepuffs. As I was saying, I could... I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Yeah, take me down to the kitchens. I haven't been able to find it in any other playthrough. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. And I've been looking. It might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. <laughs> Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Hell Garth Huffle Puff. I look pissed. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night of Hogwarts. Sleep well. That should seem far more pleasant than our other two. <laughs> I get it. She's head of Gryffindor, so she may not like Slytherin as much. But even our Ravenclaw, there's a level of, like, indifference. She just seems super pleasant with her Hufflepuffs. Oh, it's so cozy. Why does this bed look way more comfortable than our other two playthrough bedrooms? Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. It looks so much more comfortable than our freaking Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Out of all the common rooms I've seen so far, Hufflepuff looks the coziest. Rebellion. Uh, Slytherin was super elegant, but I honestly think that out of the ones I've seen so far, because I'm pretty sure Gryffindor mimics it from the series. I think I would still choose Ravenclaw. 
suppose some introductions are in order. Adelaide was her name. Arthur and Little Lab. Oh, we don't even meet Poppy. These were here in my first playthrough, I'm pretty sure. What about over here? Rebellion. Oh, hello. <coughs> Lee Regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs. Mine now, here. bitch. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, okay. you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Um, I, uh, we're gonna be arrogant and cut. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. That's a you weird. must feel terribly out of place. Nope! Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. No, I'm pretty lax of days too, as you might suspect. Sometimes I think I should have been loyal to a fault to them goblins. I've rather a searing oh. wit. <laughs> no, you, you couldn't Lenore figure out the fucking time. moth. I'm Lenore, Puzzle. by the way. Lenore Everly. Well, mustn't keep. And you. I figured that out without having to That's Google it. To oh, can we make fun of her for this? You really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry. Clearly, now. they're way I smarter than you. you. Could say that wit runs in the family. My well, but it skipped over you. I've had plenty in common with her. Determination, <laughs> valor, so daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Okay, how am I supposed to be arrogant and cocky when she's the one being arrogant and cocky? Huh? Ah! Ah! It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Adelaide is such a pretty name. Anyway. Look, I don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't <coughs> reach. Get it. Uh, oh. Come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big oh, your lisp too. Student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, <laughs> one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them. Especially so I guess the back then ones. you didn't need to have pets. Your mother's right. You can't handle pets. Beasts are more trouble than they're worth. Ah, I think they can help us as long as we help them. They just take some getting used to. You'll have to get used to them. Otherwise, you'll have a time of it in Beasts with Professor Howen. Anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Alright. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Um, I don't Oh, Uncle, this doesn't well, sound like you. you. Something's wrong. Oh. oh I randomly picked there. up that quest. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm like Adelaide. Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yep. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. My hair really Well, anyway, out. I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Hey, thanks. Thank you, Adelaide. Be Is seeing that you. Professor Bins course, behind us? And good luck. Looks like Professor Bins. Is the new Huffman no, out the, of bed uh, yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Shut up, Poppy. Oh, fat 
morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. Yeah. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? The is going to be our best friend at this point. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when uh, you leave here. When we go to Hogsmeade, we're going to choose Sebastian with this person. So Sebastian is in the Ravenclaw or something. And not Cypher or Slytherin. Uh, extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. So we're going to streamline Sebastian's Thank quest you, as quickly as possible. What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm so that we can get the killing, uh, all the unforgettable Perhaps pieces. seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. Revelio. Now we just need to come back for it. This way. I hear mics. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Don't get stuck. You got stuck when you were on a spiral cave, like staircase coming down from Harry Potter Tower. Revelio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. I still think that our XP bar should be the color of our house. I don't like that. And I didn't notice it at first because our first playthrough was Ravenclaw. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside that. and outside of the class. No, I think it'll be out because we don't have class today. Let's see. I'm on a part of the castle that I am unfamiliar with. Now that I've been here, I can probably find it. Ah, quickly. good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. <coughs> the field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Ravenclaw is over here. Hufflepuff is over here. Slytherin was over here. So Gryffindor is probably over here. Because Gryffindor and Ravenclaw have power. Also, maybe Gryffindor is over here. Let's go there. Oh, yes. <laughs> So excited. I'm having steak and potatoes for dinner, and I've been marinating the New York shirt steaks in oil. I took it out to look at it, and the steaks were purple. I'm like, oh, uh, here we are. Maybe Quite I marinated a little bit too long, He's but I've done something like that before. To Central Hall. Let's see. Let's see. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Almost. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Hogwarts is massive. Cross station, so to speak. Perhaps we should get the smell of lavender. That should be all for now. And I'd like to be sure. 
Thank you, Prof uh, Charles Rivers. I appreciate you saying that. Thank you, Professor. Let's see, Benny. Uh, I'm afraid there is. I'm Greetings, indeed. Professor Fick. Oh. Good luck. I'm gonna just search. I did. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility. With what does our hood look green? And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess a bl is in charge. Revelio. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. If I have... She wasn't even way over here. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Everly is the name? Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? Yeah. How? I Miss, mean, I'm supposed to be in fucking Ravenclaw? Right. Oh, I should have said I'm not telling. Fuck. The mom. Yeah, you should have said that. Let's get down to business. Oh, and my Ravenclaw, I finally unlocked um, level 2 a little more. It dragged on, but I did it. Oh, I'm getting a little 
stuttering. The dueling club wasn't as much as I was hoping. I was hoping you could go in there frequently to practice. Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent has a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. No. She's so badass. She's practice what we've apart just from my crush on Professor Sharp, she's my favorite small. professor. The professors are really likable in this game, and I love them. Yeah, I guess since we're not in the story mode, that red thing, if that catches up to you, you can fail, maybe? Levioso. I forgot we have a second hand off. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> How ominous. Let us begin with a basic cast. Yeah, I gotta put it in. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yes, ma'am. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise Levioso. good. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. I'll let him get in a shot on me. I think he's pretty proud. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Stupid Protego. Complicates things. Levioso. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick man. Only all of my students do this again. Levioso. I do enjoy a life. Knock him off the table. Not bad for a beginner. Not a bad ass. You give as good as you get. Yeah, I do. Look at me. Smiling all cocky. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the <coughs> points to Hufflepuff. Yeah! Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I'm going to proudly wear our Hufflepuff colors while I'm going around students. murdering people. They are capable of I'm so excited for that. And they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, I'm goblins, going to be a dark a wizard. Kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I yeah. shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough Rebellion. for one day. Class is dismissed. Let's go nice classroom. work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. 
Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Salah, Did you feel the hostility you between my wand movements? To be so deft with a wand. I got a murder Never. thirst Perhaps on. This wasn't your first duel. Which one will piss him off more? In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, oh yeah. You might be a perfect a fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count. <laughs> Excellent. Knew I was right about you. Yeah, if you, you want were. to get the most okay. out of your time at Hogwarts, not you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a it's secret attracted to them club, person or sneaking that. into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? Yeah, let's go. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. I wish the yellow was more vibrant. Near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. The Gryffindor who speaks like he doesn't really Until next time. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boys. Says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flat? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't. Oh, I'm gonna have to look up. I don't remember my wand etymology list. I used to go on to Harry Potter lexicon all the time to like. I had a notebook yeah. at one point filled with all the spells, all the potions, all the wand cores, woods, flexibility, pliability, all that stuff. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantation well, this goes on of the figure out what color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? We have Adler Woods. Hmm. Well, 
It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them what was out of one another. For? I think it was dragon Only dragon. one book will be needed for partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Pottermore is Hazel Dragon Four. This is that is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely okay, day. Okay, so it's not going to be unicorn because it's difficult to turn into the darker. It's a that little one. excursion. It's not going to be dragon because we already have that. So let's just use phoenix. Air. After me. I don't know what the flexibility. is. An Adler, Wood, Phoenix, Hair, or Phoenix Feather Core wand. Which is because our Pottermore wand is Hazelwood Dragon Core, reasonably supple, twelve and three fourths ah. inches. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand, in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players <coughs> amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport? To put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest student start us off? Hmm? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your yep, charm at the last possible mo It's not the last now, uh, Think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing Do we ever even actually get to play gobstones? Because I know we collected them with our Ravenclaw. Very good. But I don't remember us getting a chance to actually play gobstones. Oh, that one almost fell off. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Fuck. Don't lose your composure. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go. Excellent. Good. What's this? Phew. One on I. Oh, it's me. Do not think I will start going easy on you now. Yes. Quite impressive. Let us see this. There we go. Bitch. Let 
Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles on, it all. Here we go. That is how it's done. Is it? Is it really? Akio. Yeah. Splendid. <coughs> What's this? Hi, Tripper. I think everything's it. Oh no, 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 we're good. Well done. Let us see this. There we go. Akio. Stop, 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 stop. The pulse up. No, we're fine. Two perfect rounds. You're a natural. Yeah! That's because I, I, I've done this before. A couple times. <coughs> Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game, Basta. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Okay. Well, it's been nice talking that? and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use a word if, if you would. <coughs> to speak with me, Professor. I did. Ominous is about I to trust pass your first the background. Charles that, lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor Good competition effect. wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Ready. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon <laughs> regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. You're hurting me, in case you're curious. Ow! Motherfucker, okay, then, down, no, 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 you're hurting me, you're hurting me, you're hurting me. Oh! Is there a blue powder in the sarcophagus? Revelio. Probably not. Hello there, you're the new student, aren't you? Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering.
your damn burger. Bugs are fixed and I can turn up the graphics. Let's see. Just over there. Levioso. I figured out how to do this bug too. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels across France. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so I seem to have a knack. Don't really see the value in organized dueling. Senseless fighting, in my opinion. It's not senseless. Get me in the ring. We'll make you regret signing up. Here to get you bring up. Huh? Not a duel. <gasps> nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next new champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first cross ones victory. Well thought. Hope to see you back here again. Rebellion.
just want to attack the top. Like, this is super sad. Well, too late. Uh, what about the rule, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, V. Perhaps it's you could help. Part of it is still locked in that tree that is still locked. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. And here I am. Seems like we're about to throw down. Let's go. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I oh, heard as much from Professors Hecate and Roman. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit. Yeah, he before did. you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've taught. Right. Let's throw him under the bus. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a stream. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. <laughs> Professor Ronan did mention something. Alright, I'm back. I'm Ethan. Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of it. Moving right along. Revelio. Imagine how inconvenient. Oh! Not before I invented blue pack. You have a new spell to teach. Good thing. I'll start on the task right. Accio, got it. The flying page must be around here somewhere. Accio. I trust the preliminary task. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Revelio. Allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Levioso. <laughs> the jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Alright, should I do this one now?
rebellious. This is where Professor's been. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to and them unforgivable curses. I know you know. Is this your first foray into the village? Maybe. It is. What's up to you? Left the castle since I arrived. Well. I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. I still can't manage of course. To You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken <coughs> quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep <coughs> Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So, how did you manage to get in the librarian's bag, then? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Yep. I'm pretty adept at potions. In my head, each of the four playthroughs we're going to have, um, I have, like, this whole lore with the character outside of the game about, like, what their strong suits are and what their, uh, where they struggle. So, with my... Smell is big from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Okay. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't... <coughs> Uh, my Ravenclaw has trouble flying, which actually kind of happened in our first place. So that was to the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds from all students. Oh, uh, hence the name. My Sorry, Slytherin struggles with charms. My Hufflepuff is going to struggle with uh, care for ah, magical features. And my Gryffindor is going to struggle with potions. That's like their classes in my head that they struggle with. Because even though in the game it makes it look like you, oh, you're just old. You had much of a chance to explore the castle. A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Because I'm a badass. Okay, 
it's still stuttering on 60 f yeah so we are gonna drop I'm pretty sure it's not one, because uh, I checked the requirements for this game, and we met them with flying colors. <coughs> um, though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. Like, but you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand, too. Mm -hmm. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Tough students. I'm coming. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks That's a bit worse for wear. Hello, good morning. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallows. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? No, he's clearly oh, right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demigod. Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. Huh? I shall be at the castle. How rude for that Gryffindor to walk in the middle of the Good luck to both of you. Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. I never had a Moonstone problem Moon with the Ravenclaw. Quite the character. But I remember seeing guys well, about like how to get that quick. My problem was getting today. money quick. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? I should have actually watched this. She is, or rather, she was. She's Rebellion. not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at home. Walking through each other. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a rebellion. Flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. An inquiring mind. Yeah. Level six, let's go. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcraft. Professor Weasley will be here. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Take the three one. If you're interested, nope. feel free to take a look around. I'm broke as fuck, sir. Alright, let's look at the map. Ollivanders, Pippins, and Neep will be last. Because Ollivanders is like here. Pippins. Pippins, whatever. <coughs> Get our one rebellion. Okay, Adler with Phoenix. Well, in three, two, one, go. I'll be 
be right with. Ah, it's you. It um, is. Just a moment, please. Uh, you gave me away my blue hair. For a new one, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? How <coughs> am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivanders. <coughs> But of course, you'll have heard of the Olivanders, I'm sure. Timeless one. I don't want this wand to look world. like our other one, it's which is a this, pleasure. I the spiral design. Truly. Now, I want this one to look spooky, me. scary Let's skeleton. Find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. I believe in the well, book. Ahead, Don't they actually measure from like wrist to elbow for hmm. your forearm length oh, to figure out how long your one's supposed yeah. to be? Once more, right? come on, really swish it. Which is ironic considering that. <laughs> My Pottermore wand. Oh, it's dear. like 12 and 3 fourths inches. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> now, um, What's the exact size? We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. I look Rare so concerned. Wood, and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. As long as it's not unicorn. Let's give this one a unicorn hair and I are not going to get along because I'm going to be a dark wizard. And unicorn hair repels dark magic when I googled it because it's in a minute. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. It probably won't have any in-game effect, but I want to be careful. I want to. I'll stick with the lore, man. Which means I'm gonna have the exact opposite with my Slytherin. My Slytherin's gonna have unicorn hair. Are you? Perhaps you? My actual one had dragon heart string. There you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here. Here we go. Uh, oh, okay. So this is my uh, Pottermore stats. So <coughs> I want to get the wood fixed up. Curious indeed. Adler. It doesn't tell you about. How intriguing. We're gonna do our Neo one. I wish I would give you three colors instead. Curious 14 indeed. and a half and nine and a half. I don't know what the link effect. So we're gonna do eleven. And then Phoenix Feather. Oh, it tells you there. Shows as a core of a wand capable of producing great magic range and producing consistent magic. Producing powerful. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare. <coughs> the core with a strong sense of initiative. I think I went with this color with my last one. How intriguing. This is what our last, uh, our, uh, that's what our Ravenclaw had. Curious indeed. Oh, I like this one. How intriguing. I want to get lighter on my hair. We'll do that. Wish it was dark. Oh, well, what about this Curious one? Indeed. Well, we get wand handles later, so that'll probably pick, pick this one up. Right. Adler Phoenix Feather, Unyielding 11. What do you think? Ordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Now, how did?
did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. Yeah, I did. Match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to talk. <coughs> of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. Right about and that the bond the between feathers. you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wands of Slytherin's going to have the intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful. Probably Mr. with Ollivander. Mabel. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again if ever I can be of further assistance. I wish there was a little bit more volume. Oh. Well, they're gonna sell the other stuff. Okay, they took care of it. We don't have a save yet, but it's still good. It's safe. All right, now on to Pippin, which is down this way. Revelio. Butterbeer, hey! I don't think I have any cream soda right now. I have Dr. Pepper cream soda. It's the closest bit of beer as I can get without actually making. Welcome to Jacob's Cushion. Oh, he it's him I want to sell. I really wish the yellow was there. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were... Okay, moving on. What can I do for you today? I wish these the other potions you could learn oh, in potions back spot time instead of having to buy them. It frustrates me that you have to buy them. Revelio. Okay, so Pippin, we're on my way now, and then the magic and the yellow. Accio. Rebellion. Isn't that even the persuasion it took? Maybe. Let me just buy this. Well, hello there. I only need one of each suit, so that's a little bit. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds, Professor Weasley. <coughs> The Dittany for the. In addition. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. I have a Dittany. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest. I want the mallow sweet. Oh, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Oh, 
I'm in a graveyard. You're not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Booze and Peck said a customer lost his life. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed. Your shields are weak. Oh, my rope. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. There's a so page behind his head. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Troll, you're gonna have to wait a minute. Because I gotta fix my Taste of his own medicine. Nicely done. Look out. Let me also. Good day, let me also. Let me also. That's right, you lumbering lout. He's faltering. A few more hits should do the job. Throw all the barrels at him. <coughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm a badass. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll? <laughs> By yourself. Daddy. Oh, so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Uh, no, I'd like to be a paid Nerd like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Repairer. Oh, uh, hello there. A moment if you would. Shut I'll up. Go and see what he wants. Yeah, you just want to clean up.
<coughs> Officer Sigurd is like the worst boss. What are you up to now? singing your praises. Semi guys. I don't think I have that one. Don't worry about that. I'm sure the person lines right up. So I'll go home more. It's so sad. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. for your perusal today. <coughs> Take your time. <coughs> it's worse than what I have. Say we've earned a bus of beer or two. Hang on, let me sell this trash back to the place. I sell even more battle worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. I'm get my Rebellion. You have two foot pipes. Where did you know that? <coughs> Assuming it isn't a bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. That's good. <laughs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? That was me. Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Serana will protect us. 
It's a treat to see you, Lord God. Lord I'll God. Let you know if I hear anything. Aww. Thank you, Serona. Sound again. Well. Lord God. Now, what can I? Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. Hi. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Oh, well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, 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 no time, then. Hey, don't, 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 don't like the shirt, don't like the shirt. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. Theophilus. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. Well, Eddie. I think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. I don't want the shirt to smell like you. I want to see if you like my mom. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. <laughs> Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. He doesn't have a lot of shirts, uh, but I have a couple more to get full. And the first one I found is his neighborhood bad boy shirt. Oh, and it's still tender and fresh in the wash. Hi. You ready? Certainly glad Serona was there. <coughs> she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. I shall see your problem. Common rooms don't smell like that, right? Common rooms over here. And it's ironically the only fast travel I know in that section of the map. I have an 
where I am going to save it. And we will pick this up later in the day. I'm going to take Teddy for a walk. And I'm going to go make some steaks. And I got some more stuff that I got to do. But until then, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!